can check out on photo bucket I have a picture of this so if you don't want to keep the video open you can just open this picture up print it out whatever keep it right next to your computer has all the exact settings in a full screen mode that you can follow along alright today I'm going to show you how to create the dirty synth lead I have from the new song I just uploaded which is the Falco song and I'll let you hear what it sounds like first this line right here that's what we're gonna make so first thing you wanna do is open up a Thor and you're gonna right click initialize patch and I already have a sample loaded in so we're just gonna continuously play that so you can hear what it sounds like the first thing we're gonna do is change this analog oscillator to a wave table oscillator second one it's going to be a multi oscillator and then another wavetable oscillator. First one, you don't need to change anything on it. The second one, you're going to have to change this octave to an octave 6. There we go. And this, the amount, uh, we'll take it up to 70. There we go. Yeah, right there. That's good. Uh, keep everything else the same. Wavetable on the bottom, all you're going to change is the position. Position. We're just going to, oh, you're going to stick straight up. So, 64. Next, we can come over to the right next to this low pass ladder fader filter. Sorry, and click two, three, and right below that, two, one, two, and three again. Take the frequency all the way up. Resolution right around 54. And the drive, we're just gonna pump it up just a little bit. The type is gonna be this 24 type one, and then everything else is good in there. Come down to this mixer and the balance and bring it down to oh, 58 60 ish right there take this down this will be negative 5.8 dBs open that up filter 2 we're gonna create a state variable filter there we go filter all the way up keep resolution where it's at um, Pump the drive up. Oh, 78. Somewhere in there. Uh, anywhere is really fine with this. Everything down here is going to stay the same. The only thing we're going to change here is the gain. Which looks like... I have 6.2. Yes. Okay. Next part we're going to do is turn on the delay in the tempo sync. Turn the time down to 1 16th. Yeah. Take the wet. Turn it all the way to dry. Take this dry all the way over. Turn on chorus. That's all we gotta do in the chorus. It's, everything will change later on. I'll show you. I'll show you where that's gonna change it. When we come down here, we're gonna open up a Rotary 2, which is right underneath the modifiers. Rotary 2. The percent is 100. Click and drag up. And then we're going to open up a shape drive, which is a shaper drive as it's listed. Right underneath the rotary, we're going to open up a button 1, which again is right underneath the modifiers. It's button 1. And we're going to give that a 65. Whoa, that was a lot. There we go, 65. And then dry wet will be right next to it, which will be the destination. Where is it at? The delay is going to be dry wet. Sorry about that. I confused you a little bit. And then the button 2, which again is right under modifiers, button 2, and we're going to give that 57% amount, whatever, percent amount, uh, 59, that's all it's given me, okay, that's good enough, um, now we're going to go to chorus, dry wet, which this will affect right up here, once we turn them on, now we're going to turn on the mod wheel, because I did use the mod wheel a little bit, so I'm just going to give it to you anyways, which is under performance, mod wheel, and negative 94 is what I said it as. I didn't want it full. And then next to that, we're going to have the filter frequency. Under filter 1, frequency, not filter 2. Don't get them confused. Which is also negative 94. And 97, that's, that's okay. Now we're going to come up, turn on button 1. Turn on button 2, and then rotary, 250. 
and come back to the middle here. We're gonna turn this drive up, turn the shaper on. Oh, and then come down to wrap. And there you have it. Save the best for last.